Welcome to Science Goes to the Movies, a look at the stories of science and how they change our culture. Hello. Hello. Science. Arts. I'm Heather Berlin. And I'm Faith Saley. Science Goes to the Movies is all about movies, TV shows, pop culture, and science. In fact, to become a scientist, at the end of the day, you have to learn to love the questions themselves, because the answers are few and far between. The other thing is that the dinosaurs didn't really go extinct. I mean, we just call them birds today. You know, I mean, for me, I, when I saw it, I said, you know, where was this when I was 10? Yeah. So that I maybe not have to spend the last 20 years in therapy. It was like <laughs> MacGyver on Mars. You don't get much better than that. <laughs> like, yes, I totally understand that. And yes, love crosses space time continuum. <laughs> There's no challenge in the real world that has been as thrilling and immediately gratifying as the success or failure in sports. One of the things that I really enjoyed about American Sniper was the focus on moral injury. What's essential for this movie is the question, does she have feelings? Does she really love? Is Star Wars a multiverse? The truth is we don't completely understand how the multiverse works, how it should work. These are things about humanity, and humanity is still having a lot of the same problems. You have to be optimistic. If you don't think you can solve the problem, you will not solve it. What movie would you write? And check out our free app to watch Science Goes to the Movies on your phone, tablet, and any other mobile device. You guys have an app? Yes. Is and there a Facebook page? We have a Facebook page. We have an app. You can get the app for free on the app, in the Apple Store or Google Play. And you know, like us on Facebook.